We installed new nesting boxes and took out some of the old ones. We took out some of the old roost. You can't really see it on here, but um, when I first built the structure, I had the roost on that. If you could look closely on that, um, I had the roost on the pallet, but then I installed a separator, some doors. So instead we took out the pallet and the old um, roost and attached them to the new, I mean, to the wall. So then that way it's easier to clean in that little corner because it would get kind of gunky and it was hard to clean. This picture actually can better help describe. So before I installed this wall, I just had a pallet that went about halfway across the coop. And so the roost, the roost were resting on the pallet to keep the um to keep them high but when I installed this wall as a separator um, for various reasons then I was able to just use I always I had told myself to go back and take out that pallet so that it could be easier to clean and so we finally did that today and so hopefully this will give you a better idea these are some of the new roosts um, and as you can see we just use basically wood we found on property um, and a tree trunk but we like it I like it a lot better than how it was before and it's a little bit easier to clean which is always nice but it's very similar so it's not like it was a huge difference I apologize for the quality of the video um, but we use carpet to get our truck stuck out of the mud it was pretty cool. It was our first time experimenting with it and definitely plan to keep some used carpet scrap. That's it. Um, I'm going to try to go out this week and take pictures of stuff. It's pretty. It's winter, basically, so it's not much going on, but yet there's a lot to do. Thanks for watching.